Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account. Welcome back to the channel. Something a little different today. We're going to do some predictions for Premier League Team of the Season that is coming out this Friday. We're going to take a look at some of the cards we could see, expected cards to get in, and also price points for these items as they enter the market. Now, of course, we're in week one of Team of the Season with Community. We've seen these cards very supplied on the market. Prices are lower compared to previous promos, and that's how it always is with Team of the Season. I expect it to be that way with Premier League Tots, but Premier League Tots always is the most hyped week of Team of the Season because of the crazy stat boosts, and EA always does the business. They always put always put good cards into this promo, good stat boost, and they're usually pretty expensive first day, but then they kind of settle off, and I want to talk about some of the prices that we will see for these cards this week, and also who I think is going to get in. So without further ado, we're going to start with the starting 11 and work our way up the pitch. So... This is who I've got. This is um, created by myself and Yaz. I'm going to link him down below in the comments. Make sure you go and check him out. He did the graphics work on this. Um, Ederson, Shaw, Maguire, Ruben Diaz, and Cancelo. Now, I think you guys might look at Maguire and say, hey, yo, why is he in there? Uh, I do also think John Stones is potential. We'll talk about some other notables that we have concepts for later. But I think Ederson gets in because City, of course, top of the Premier League and you know, in the past couple years, as I've looked at the team of the season squads, yeah, somebody like Emmy Martinez or Nick Pope could very well get in, but that would be probably a goalkeeper for the bench. So just kind of thoughts there with Ederson. I think Shaw gets in as the best left back in the Prem. Uh, Ruben Diaz and Cancelo were basically shoe-ins as well. The whole city defense, to be honest, uh, apart from maybe who the left back is, uh, unless EA really wanted to go all out with City, uh, you know, Ruben Diaz probably getting in for sure. Cancelo 100% getting in. Uh, you know, let's let's talk about price points because the defending cards in Team of the Season are always the cheaper ones. Now, of course, we've had Van Dyke in the past that has been a little bit more expensive. But I honestly, looking at these cards right here, I don't see a single card that is going to be more than 750,000 coins after the first week of Premier League Team of the Season. I really don't. I mean, Cancelo might be the cheapest one out of this bunch right here and let me let me show you why right we'll take a look at last year's team of the season i'll show you some of the cards that we had involved in here trent alexander arnold right and another thing about team of the seasons is the defenders are really there's not that many right there's a lot more midfielders and attackers because that's where ea wants to build that hype right so you see one center back last year a right back two right backs a left back five defenders in the entire team last year for team of the season. So let's take a look at this Trent Alexander Arnold. Now I know Cancelo is brand new to team of the season. I don't know if he's actually had one um, maybe a couple years ago when he was in the Serie A with Juventus. Um, but you look at this Trent, he was 500K, right? He also had a team of the year item. Cancelo does not have a team of the year. So that might impact his price a little bit. And with all the Portuguese links, I do think that Cancelo this year is probably going to be the most expensive defender in team of the season. People are probably going to want to rock this at center back. And if you look at Juan Basaka right now as well, um, this card is chilling around the like 550k range, I believe, 565 right now on PlayStation. Uh, he was lower than that, but 500k for this, I think the Cancelo card is going to look just as good as this Juan Basaka, or potentially even better, which is potentially going to make him be a little bit more expensive. And of course, the city. And the Portugal links are going to be very interesting for all the Portuguese players that we have had. Of course, that Ruben Diaz perfect link is going to be pretty sweet too. Um, so I think that I think that Cancelo might be somewhere around 750,000 coins. Ruben Diaz probably going to be like four or five hundred k. If Maguire gets in, probably like three hundred k. Luke Shaw probably like three to four hundred k as well. And Ederson around that four hundred k range. These defenders are not going to be that expensive. Now let's move up to the midfielders because. This is where it gets good. And I think these are the three cards that are going to be um, premiering, I guess you could say, in the midfield of Premier League team this season. I think we have Gundogan, Bruno Fernandes, and KDB. Now, for Bruno Fernandes and KDB, I think we are going to see items that are higher rated and boosted higher than their team of the years. Now, of course, these stats are just predictions. I think these stats are a little bit modest on what EA could do, but I also just wanted to make them realistic depending on the boost. We've seen some nice boosts for community team this season, um, but I think Bruno is the one that everybody is really, really interested in and curious about. And of course, I don't think De Bruyne's going to have the card this year in team this season that he had last year. We all remember FIFA 20 tossed De Bruyne for being club 90. He got a plus eight physical 
plus eight defense from his team of the year last year to his team this season. I really don't think that's going to happen this year. So these are some, you know, slight upgrades. I hope EA goes all out and gives these guys even more of a boost. But again, just to take a look at what some of these prices could be, Bruno Fernandez, right? He was he was 2.2 mil uh, at the time of this recording, but during team of the year when he first came out, 5.9 mil, dropped down to around 4.7, around 5 million coins. I think then when this team of the season, Bruno Fernandez comes out, the TOTS card is going to be, depending on the boost, probably somewhere around that 5 million coin mark in the first couple days. If EA do boost him up like they did KDB last year, if they give him 90 defense and over 90 physical with 99 passing, 99 shooting, maybe 93 or 4 pace and 99 dribbling, this card could be 6 to 7 million coins depending on the stats. But I think that 5 mil range is probably going to be where it's at before he drops off later on. But like you look at this KDB from last year, right? This card is bananas. And if they make De Bruyne this year, basically this card from last year, then I think he's going to be even more than KDB was last year. KDB was 4.3 mil, dropped down to 3.8 on rewards day, went back up to 4.2. And then, of course, as all these uh, TOTS cards do, dropping off as we head throughout the rest of the year as more TOTS cards come out. And the focus shifts to different leagues. Um, but still, I think this Bruno card has potential to be one of the most expensive TOTS cards apart from CR7. So just keep an eye on that one right there. Uh, depending on the boost that EA gave him, he could be way, way up there in price. Now, Kevin De Bruyne this year, of course, his team of the year was a little bit under underwhelming but I guess the main thing that I'm saying with all of these cards is I think that every single one of these that has a team of the year they're going to go higher on the team of the year than they did the team of the season uh, excuse me they're going to go higher on the team of the season than they did in the team of the year so that's why we boosted up the stats a little bit now Gundawan is an interesting one as well that kind of reminds me of Bernardo Silva from FIFA 19, and that card was around 500,000 coins. I think this Gundogan might be more of like a 650 to 700k card um, with that big of a stat boost and the links that he provides with some very popular German players in this game, especially heading into like Bundesliga Tots, that Gundogan card could be very interesting. So I think with that much of a stat boost, he'll fit in the meta a lot more, and that'll make his card very usable. You know, you don't see a lot of people using Gundogan, but if he gets stats like that, he very well could. So that's probably, I know, a 650, 700K card. Bruno, again, possibly being somewhere around the, the 5 to 7 mil range. I think he's really, really going to be up there. And then KDB, probably somewhere around like the 2 mil range, in my opinion, is where that KDB might be if they juice him up even more than they did his uh, team of the year card. So let's move on to the attackers. Right on here, we have Sun, Salah, and Kane, three of the top highest uh, most goals scored this year in the Prem. Now, a lot of people will look at this and be like, man, this kind of sucks, right? Well, hold off for a second because there a lot of what EA do with team this season is they put in a lot of cards um, on the bench and in the reserves that are the extra attackers that make this team of the season promo the best, right? This Premier League team of the season at the best, right? So uh, we have Sonaldo, Salah, and Kane. Now, of course, Harry Kane this year is probably going to be one of the most cheapest striker cards we've seen because this card really is not that meta right now if they base the upgrade off his rule breakers card and they give him really high agility balance might be a fun card to use i really hope they give him 90 pace because again i'm going to show you a card right now that rem that could be what we're looking at with a harry kane team in the season this year i don't know if you guys remember fifa 18 his team of the year card if they did a boost like this like 95 dribbling is kind of what we need right i mean if you look at this this is the harry kane it's got the highest amount of dribbling so far uh 85 dribbling 87 shot 95 passing and 91 pace on kane for his rule breakers card if they give him a boost like this and potentially even get him close to 90 pace this card actually might be pretty usable. Now, uh, that's kind of what we have to see for a Harry Kane card. This team of the year back in FIFA 18 was like 1.6, 1.7 mil. I honestly think that if this Kane card would come out right now in FIFA and he would have these stats that are on this card, he'd probably be only about a mil. I really don't think he'd be that much. I think they need to boost him up even more than this to make him really usable. We need to see 90 pace, 90 passing and 90 dribbling, honestly, as well. So we'll see if they do that, but that's probably gonna be one of the more cheaper attackers in Prem Tots. Now, Salah is an interesting one too, right? Of course, right up there with Kane and the number of goals scored, 100% getting a team this season. Salah has had a team of the season card every single year in the past three years, um, maybe four actually. But last year, I thought he was super undervalued. And I feel like Salah is also 
Just one of those cards that flies under the radar, especially this year. Not a lot of people are using him, except for in the early game when he was like the best right wing in the Prem. Uh, you know, this card, when it came out last year, was 1.5 mil. He dropped down to 1.2 mil, uh, and then, of course, kept dropping during tots. But I was very, I thought this card was going to be over 2 million coins. 99 pace, 97 dribbling, 97 shot. He was very rare on the market. But I really think last year in FIFA 20, it was the combination of the Adama Traore that was out in the game. And also you had that St. Maximin 5-star, 5-star full birthday card that really took a lot of hype away from the Salah. So uh, I think Salah might be a little bit more expensive this year just with some of the, the lack of the right wings in the Prem. Uh, you might be looking so more around the range of like, let's say 1.8 to 1.9 mil. Not crazy uh, amounts more expensive, but I think that some hype could come back to the Salah card, especially with his road to the final being around a million coins the way that it is. If, if this gets a 96 or a 97, maybe even a 98 Salah, you know, I think we're looking closer to that two mil range. And EA, please, you can upgrade, you've upgraded skill moves and weak foot on community team this season. Give this guy a four star weak foot, please. That would make this card probably 2.2, 2.3 mil first earlier on, um, more expensive because that four star weak foot. People would pay big bucks for that on Salah. So, Sun is also going to be a very interesting one. Now, Sun is always expensive. Every single year, this card comes out and he is very expensive. Now, last year, inside of FIFA 20, he had a 95 rated left wing card. 95 is the highest rated TOTS card Sun has ever had in FIFA. He had it two years in a row, 19 and 20. And uh, he was 2.2 mil, dropped to 1.6 and then rebound a little bit, of course. Uh, I, would, I would still venture to say that this Sun card this year is probably going to be somewhere around the range of that close to two mil range. I think he's going to be somewhere around that close to two mil right away, then dropping off. He's still a very meta card this year. I hope they juice up his stats even more than what this card shows here. But I do think uh, that he should be around that two million coin range in my opinion. So again, the attackers right there don't look that great, but let's move on and talk through a couple more things because I hope EA doesn't just give us 15 cards. We need more than 15 cards in PAX EA Sports for Prem Tots. You need to make it a whole 20 or 23, right? Because there's some big cards that could be on the bench. Now, I think that we're going to see at least three or maybe even four more attackers a part of the bench squad. Bamford, Vardy, Lacazette, Rashford could all very well get in. And again, if you take a look at these old Tot squads that we've had, it's a lot of midfielders and attackers. And I think that's what you're going to see the bench dominated by in terms of position. Now, I think almost all these guys are pretty worthy of getting Tots cards. We have to get an Arsenal card in there. EA knows they got to get somebody in there from Arsenal. So um, I think they're going to throw in that Lacazette. He had a team of the season card in FIFA 19. Uh, hopefully they give him the juice. Bamford, I think, is one that a lot of people would be interested in with the English links. That'd be a cool card. Vardy, of course, with the pace. And then Rashford, right? I do think Rashford gets in just because that means that EA will get some more people to open packs. Rashford with a striker position change card could be very interesting. Now, his card last year was a left mid, which made things probably a little bit cheaper on the market, but he was still around that 900K range, which I remember trading with this card last year, first day as well. And uh, we thought he was extremely, extremely cheap under a million coins. So I think it was because he had that foot birthday version that didn't help him out. Uh, he already had a 90 rated striker card with a five star, five star. He still got the five star skills in FIFA 21 though. So a Rashford being on the game, I think if there was a striker position change Rashford, especially if like, you know, Harry Kane is in, there's not a lot of hype for that card. Vardy, Lacazette, Bamford, Rashford might be the best through and through striker that is in this team. And if they do make that striker uh, change in position, um, potentially from where some of his other cards are this year, you might see this card being somewhere around the 1.5 to 1.6 mil range, kind of like where Charleston was last year. So I do think at least three of these four attackers get into team of the season. So let's move it on. A few more, more midfielders and a few more attackers. Mason Mount, uh, Gorillas, Shushek, Calvin Phillips, and Jesse Lingard. Now, I want to make a point about Lingard. If he gets a TOTS card, I feel like it's going to be a TOTS moment. It would be an objective or an SBC because last year, Bruno Fernandes did not get a team of the season after he transferred to Manchester United and really started cooking in the second half of the year. Lingard's really only been cooking for like the last two months. So I don't know if it's team of the season worthy performance, but we needed to put the card on here to talk about it. Uh, Grealish, I think, actually gets into the side on the bench. That's going to be a pretty cool looking card. Now, Sushek is a shoe-in, in my opinion. I think he 100% gets in. West Ham having the year that they have had. All of the um, performances that this guy has turned in as well. That's going to be a pretty interesting card, right? Potential center back, you know, position change in game. We'll see. 
Uh, Mason Mount's probably going to be one of the Chelsea cards this year. I think he's I think he does get a team of the season as he's performed pretty well. Uh, that's going to be a card that a lot of people will be interested in. And then Calvin Phillips as well could be a really sick card if he gets in as well. Now, how do you price somebody like a Mason Mount? Well, you know, you look back at some old team of the season squads and kind of say, hey, who does this guy compare to in terms of maybe hype and in terms of maybe statistics? Well, last year we had Jorginho's at center attacking mid. Um, we didn't really have that many center attacking mids last year except for KDB. We had Henderson last year as well. FIFA 19, we had Erickson. He was like 400, 500K. But I feel like that Mount card with the English links and with the card that he is, not having many specials in FIFA, that might be like a 750K, maybe a mil. If they give him a huge boost, that might be around a million coins early on um, just because of the hype around Mason Mount. So that's kind of one thing to keep an eye on there as well. Um, and then Jack Grealish, if they do a position change him, that can make him a little bit more expensive as well. But a lot of these cards, you know, I doubt that most of these guys are going to be over a million coins. Mason Mount potentially... Sushek, not a chance. Calvin Phillips, you know, probably not too close to a million coins either. Uh, maybe somewhere around there starting off, but then dropping lower after that. So last but not least, just this page here of some of the other defenders and more defending positions. I do think we get a second goalkeeper. It's probably going to be Emmy Martinez, maybe Nick Pope. Tiago Silva could get in and Diddy Cresswell potentially. And then there's our Stones card, right? I think Stones could either be on the bench or actually in the starting 11. Now, of course, again, if you take a look at team of the seasons from years past, we had Van Dyke and Soyuncu last year as the only two center backs. Before that, we had Laporte and Van Dyke, Robertson, Daugherty uh, in the team. So we had a couple more defenders there. I still think we get five defenders this year. I think we had a left back, two center backs, and a right back, but I doubt we get any more than that. So unless EA throws another defender on the bench like Thiago Silva uh, or Cresswell, I feel like it's just going to be Shaw, Cancelo, Stones or Maguire and Diaz is probably going to be the only defenders that we do see in team of the season this year. So through and through, that is the team of the season predictions by me and Yaz, my man. Uh, I'll link him again down below in the comments, but it's going to be a very interesting team of the season. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the skills boost the weak foot upgrades if you think they should do that and of course the ratings that you saw on these cards let me know of course down below and maybe some more price range questions if you have any of those i wanted to kind of do something different and just show you all that stuff that we had there uh, and also kind of include you know some stuff with the um with the prices as well and with the stat boost now of course some of those cards that we showed could absolutely be sbcs as we've seen during community tots they have dropped multiple of those uh, during the promo, so you know, Sushek, or maybe we don't get a, a another center back in the team. They make a, a Harry Maguire SBC for a center back Tots card, or maybe they make I don't know somebody else like an SBC player, maybe Lacazette be an SBC or something like that. So that's potential from those cards there as well. But of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and uh, yeah, like if you enjoyed the video, and of course, comment. I already said that. Subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.